So, I'm not sure how well this is working, but um, the problem was that I had taken this speaker apart here, and I left it just sitting out in the garage near a, uh, let me see, near a wire wheel and grinder, like an idiot. And, um, yeah, so, me um, metal shavings and pieces of wire wheel were all down inside my voice coil. And I've been using this piece of plastic, I think a, a wooden popsicle stick may work better, but I don't have one. And I sort of just stick it sometimes like that. That's nice. Sometimes it'll go way, way down in there. this, and then you pull that out, and then you pull this tape out, and what you'll get sometimes, can't see it real on the video, but one or two little specks, and you just go along and continue doing that. There you can see in the video there's a shiny little speck that I will try to remove. Let me see if I can leave the camera pointed here. Unlikely, but I will attempt to do so. And it is gone. So yes, this method does work. Whether it works well enough or not is a question. And I'm not sure. It is looking pretty clean. I've been doing this for maybe five minutes. Looks like I got some specs right there. Oh, let's see if I can get those. 